Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this new series, we're gonna be talking about how to create apps for the Google Play Store. I think the way I wanna go about teaching this is just by creating a bunch of different apps so you guys can see what the basic process really looks like. If this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can see when we're starting a new app. Before we get start, we're actually gonna need to set up a few things first. We're gonna one, need the Java JDK, and we're gonna need Android Studio. So if we open up Google Chrome, we can come up here and type in Amazon Coretto. I like using this instead of the Oracle version because Amazon Coretto just kind of sets up all the backend stuff for you. We don't have to mess with any environment variables. We're gonna click the Amazon Coretto 11, scroll down, and you're just gonna to wanna to pick your operating system and I'm on, where is it? Windows, we're just gonna download this MSI file. If we come down to the lower left-hand corner, you can see the download is started. Once this finishes up, we can see where this is at and then just run the executable. Click next. See, if we come in, we can expand this and this will set up all of our environment variables. We don't have to mess with anything. The only thing we have to do is run this. So we'll install it. Yes. And then click finish. So now if we come down here, we type in terminal. And then what we should be able to do is type in Java dash version. And you'll see now we have the JDK installed. So after that, we're going to come back over to Google Chrome and then we need to actually install Android Studio. This is where we're gonna be creating all of our apps. So we can click the first link here. And it's real simple. You just click this big green download button, assuming you're on Windows. You scroll down, make sure you agree with all of the terms and conditions, and then download it. Now this one will probably take a little bit longer. It's almost a gig. So we'll come back when that finishes up. All right, so this just finished installing, and then it's gonna pretty much be the same process as last time. We're gonna double click it, run the executable, click yes. Then this setup wizard is gonna pop up and we're gonna click next again. We wanna keep all the defaults here. And then I'm gonna leave it at the default path, but you can also change this by clicking the browse button and picking where you want to install it. Next, I'm gonna keep all the defaults again and then click install. And then we're just gonna wait for this to finish up. All right, sweet, so now that finished up, we're gonna click next, and then start Android Studio, click finish. And now you're pretty much all set up and good to go. Click okay. Android Studio, start loading up. I'm just gonna close out of all this stuff real quick. Oh, nope, this one, nice. Um, and then I'm on a virtual machine, so I'm not gonna send anything. Nice, okay, so now what we have to do is set up Android Studio. I'm just gonna click next. Then I'm gonna go with the standard installation. I would recommend you do the same unless you have some custom settings you know you wanna use. Click next, and then I'm gonna use the dark theme. I don't know anyone who actually uses the light theme, but if you do, light theme away. Click next, and then this is all the settings we have for here. It already has the JDK that we installed, and then all we gotta do is click finish. All right, so once that finishes up, you shouldn't get this there here. That's just because I'm using a virtual machine to install this stuff. Then after that, you just click finish and you're all set up and good to go. So that's it for the setup. Really quick video, I think. In the next video, we're gonna be starting a new project and kind of getting familiar with Android Studio. I went a little fast in this video, so if you have any questions or you're unable to get something to work correctly, just leave a comment down below and I'd be more than happy to help you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.